Hello, everybody. This is our next night of our prayer and fasting service in September. It's winding up more and more and more. You don't want to miss a night. It's like a chain. It keeps getting link and link and link and link, and it pulls you up to a higher level in Christ Jesus. We're coming to you right now in Romans chapter 15 and in verse 29. Romans chapter 15 and verse 29. It says, And I am coming, Paul's talking here, sure that when I come to you, I shall come to you in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. Now wait a minute. I thought the gospel was by itself. I didn't know the gospel was a, you can come in the fullness of the gospel. Well, here you get. The fullness of the blessing is the fullness of the gospel, and the fullness of the gospel is the fullness of the blessing. It sounds like a rap song, don't it? <laughs> Amen. And so, what is the fullness of the blessing? Okay. Nothing broken, nothing missing, everything spotless and clean and running smooth. First thing that comes to your head is, that's impossible. Well, the gospel, living the gospel life, that becomes reality in your life. You can actually grow into a place of the fullness of the blessing. Well, how do you do that? Well, number one, you got to know it's God's will right here. And we just read that it is God's will. Most people dismiss a lot of good stuff because they don't know that the Bible is God's will. Say this after me. The Bible. Say it. The Bible is God talking to me. Let's say it one more time. The Bible is God talking to me. Okay, let's say it like this. The Bible is God's will talking to me. There's not 50 more, 55,000 trillion different wills for people. Just one, and this is it right here. This is God's will made simple. Okay, so you can actually be in the fullness of the blessing of God in the gospel of Christ Jesus. But what is it? Nothing broken, nothing missing, everything spotless and clean and running smooth. You could have mess all around you, but you could say those five things and your mess will start changing. Why? Because you're putting the word on it. The word right here as you come in the fullness of the blessing. His Word is perfect. See? Nothing broken. Nothing missing. Everything spotless and clean. Amen. It don't come with you fretting over it, worrying and hollering at everybody, trying to get him to do something. No, it comes by doing the Gospel. And the Gospel is the fullness of the blessing. Amen. Nothing broken. Your heart broken anymore? The gospel fixes it. Nothing broken. Nothing missing. Because Jesus moved in there. Everything's spotless. All your sins are spotless. And clean. Why? And everything running smooth. No, no heartbreak. No depression. None of that. Well, why? Because you're focusing in on the fullness of the gospel. You can live a more fuller and richer life. Amen. Say it again. It's available to me to live a more fuller and richer life. Even if you think your life is full and rich, there's, a, there's more available for you. Make somebody else's life, make somebody else's dream come true. Amen. We speak a blessing on you tonight. Thank you, Lord. A prayer and fasting during the day and the service at night. This is the service part. Thanks for everybody joining. We had a head count and it was a bunch of people. <laughs> and so we really appreciate it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Fullness of the blessing is God's will for you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We speak a blessing on you in Jesus' name. Drop us a line at this address, Mike Riley, 918 North Griffin, Oak Mulgee, Oklahoma, 74447. Three fours and two sevens. Be blessed.
be blessed. What happens when you, when you send us a line? Well, send us a letter. Write in the letter what's going on there, what you want us to pray about. We lay our hands on that. We pray over those. Amen. And then in the memo, just put the fullness of the blessing. We've got so many good blessings. I could just give testimony after testimony. Uh, there was a lady. She was really scheduled to die. And uh, she's alive and well. Doing great. Amen. Uh, no more disease and complications in her life. So wonderful. There's another guy. Uh, he actually heard me preach this fullness of the blessing in public. He was one of the participants in public, in a public setting. And he said, well, it sounds really far-fetched, but I need a new house. He said, everything in my house is broke. Everything's falling apart. He lived in a, in, a, in a motor home. And I said, well, we just agree in prayer. And the next motor home you get, he said, I have no income, no way to get it. And I said, doesn't matter. You do what you're supposed to do with your life and got to do what he's supposed to do with his life, giving it to you. The fullness of the blessing. He called me the other day on Facebook and he was just, he said, every time I just think about it, I just start crying. And I said, well, brother, it must be something good. That he, he, he took about three runs at it. Then he said, I got blessed with a new motor home. He lives out in the country. It's beautiful out there. And he said, nothing's broken. Nothing's missing. Everything's spotless and clean and running smooth. I said, that's God. Amen. So we come in agreement in your life that nothing's missing, nothing's broken. Everything spotless and clean and running smooth in your life. The fullness of the blessing. Spiritually, your heart, soul, and mind. Nothing broken, nothing missing, and everything spotless and clean and running smooth. And also in your natural life. See, that affected... He got his spiritual life humming with God and started saying the blessing, fullness of the blessing. And he'd repeat that. Nothing broken, nothing missing, everything spotless and clean, and everything running smooth. And he'd repeat that, see... And then he, he thought on it first. He heard it, thought on it, went down his heart, came back out of his mouth. And you know what? He's living in it now. He's living a dream, baby. He's living a dream now. It'll work for anybody. He's in his 60s. It would work for if you're, you know, what it had, age means nothing. Because God's a blessing of God. It's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The economy doesn't mean anything to God. He's God. Amen. It's wonderful. Another thing, I want to give you a word of encouragement. Every year in September, major world events happen. Now, when we first started in September, I was saying that. I was saying major world events always happen in September. And, and here we are midway through, a little bit past midway through September, and we've had, mid, we've had major world events happen in almost every day. It either making or had happened, and even some last night. So it's uh, always going in the favor of God. Amen. The fullness of the blessing is available to you. So take it with your words. Amen. Right, right in the mem memo when you send your prayer request, your letter, and your uh, right, in, right in the memo there. You know, God takes that. God takes that what you give multiplies it, blesses it, and gives it back to you. Amen. So be blessed today. Have a healthy, wealthy life. Praise God.